hardware in the system can be assigned up to four different types of resources that you need to know a little bit about or you should know a little bit about if you really want to know what goes on inside of Windows. They can be assigned an IRQ number or interrupt request number. The interrupt request number is a number that is given to that piece of hardware that it can use and send down those bus lines to the CPU when it needs to interrupt the CPU because it needs something. For example, the keyboard almost always gets, if not always, gets IRQ number one. So that when you press a key, the CPU says, hey, I better listen to that even though I'm busy doing something else right now. Because maybe the user needs to interrupt something or stop something from running. And so it wants to listen to that key. And so when the CPU sees the IRQ come in as a number one code, it says, oh, that's the keyboard. I better listen to that. Not all devices have an IRQ, but some do. Things like the keyboard, the mouse, and so on. The DMA, or Direct Memory Access, is a channel number that, is a, that can be assigned to devices so that they can talk directly to memory without having to go through the CPU. Now, the CPU may give the permission and get things started, but then they can talk directly to memory. So, for example, you can transfer information from the disk to memory or from the memory to the disk without having to send all of that information through the CPU bogging it down. So it's sort of the express way from one device to another to send information without going through the CPU as a bottleneck. The I.O. or input output is a resource of uh, it's a block of memory that can be given to two or more devices so that they can exchange information with each other without having to go through the CPU. And finally, the memory address is a block of memory that certain devices need to reserve for themselves. So maybe a device, uh, let's say a disk drive, might have a block of memory that it uses for its own logic uh, that um, it says, hey, I want this block of memory, and I don't want you to put data or programs or anything else in that block of memory. Those are the four system resources. Not every device has all four, um, but some devices require certain system resources. It used to be that we had to manually set these up by hand, either by changing little jumpers or by typing something into the system back in the DOS days. Uh, now it's all kind of done for us but they do still exist.